Thank you very much, Anna. Good afternoon. It's all about the heat for many of you again. This is the sky colour in London at the moment. 29 degrees to the west of the city. Different capital, different view, though, in Edinburgh. Just 14 Celsius. It is humid here, though, but things are changing for all of us. This big Swiss roll of cloud out towards the west of us. Not only set to bring some pretty windy weather for some through tomorrow, but this one here will sweep through, bringing much fresher air and dropping the temperature right across the UK. A few showers to boot as well. And Hello, good afternoon. Well, it's been another beautiful day. Hardly a cloud in the sky this morning, as captured here by one of our weather watchers in Richmond. And for the rest of today, it remains hot and humid. There'll be plenty in the way of sunshine out, high UV levels and very high pollen levels as well. Making it the warmest day of the year so far, with those light winds continuing. Well, Glastonbury and the weather have always gone hand in hand, haven't they? So what's he got in store for us, Matt? Indeed, but I think the heat and humidity not impressing so much at the moment, Anna, because it is a hot one out there. Blue skies overhead at the moment, 27 degrees this afternoon. But let me just show you the forecast for Glastonbury over the next few days, because not only is the temperature dropping, small chance of a shower tomorrow morning. A lot of the time, dry, strong sunshine, but the breeze picking up too. And that gives a hint to what's happening for all of us over the next few days. Hello there, a very good evening to you. Well, love has blossomed in the sunshine. My heartiest congratulations to them. The weather is going to stay nice for this evening. And then we have got a little bit of a change as we go on into tomorrow. We've got a warm night to come, but with a bit more cloud tomorrow and some slightly fresher conditions, the heat will be a little less intense. Despite a slight ease in the temperatures, there's no respite in the pollen. Very high levels of grass and nettle pollen over the next few days. You can only hope the breeze eases things a touch. That's it. See you later. Cheerio. Thanks very much, Alice. Good evening to you. It was another scorcher again across our region. We saw a top temperature of 30.5 Celsius in Surrey, making it the hottest day of the year so far. But it's all changed now uh, as for the rest of the week. The Thanks very much, Ben. Glorious conditions there. It's going to cool down a little bit, though. Good evening to you. That's the theme for the rest of this week. Temperatures are dropping. We did see 30 Celsius again in the southeast of England. But as we head through the rest of the week, it's going to start to feel fresher for all those. And for more on those high temperatures, Alex is here. Alex, it's been too hot for me today. How long is it going to last? <laughs> well, there are signs that it will be slipping away as we head through the rest of this week into the weekend. But I have to say, this heat wave has been a southern affair. Across the north, it has been somewhat cooler and much more bearable. But let's take a look at temperatures for today. As Martin said, we got to 30 degrees Celsius today. And you can see in comparison to other parts of Europe, we did very well, in fact, we were hotter than many areas, but it is going to be cooling off. You might be glad to hear as we head through the next few days. So let's take a look at what we can expect here. As I say, it has been somewhat cooler across the north, but across the south, we're going to see those temperatures start to come down closer towards average by the time we get into the weekend and certainly for the start of next week. Average for this time of year, as you can see, is around 21 degrees Celsius. Now, of course, lots of people went into Glastonbury earlier today. The music starts tomorrow. This was the scene there earlier this afternoon. Picture perfect, blue skies overhead, even hot enough for a bit of topless sunbathing. even hope they had their factor 50 on. As we head through the next few days, while things are going to be staying relatively settled, I can confirm it will not be a mud fest. Here is the outlook for the Glastonbury Festival if you are yet to go in. As you can see, as we head through the next few days, it will be largely on the dry side. Fairly light winds, although they could pick up a little bit tomorrow afternoon. And you can see temperatures are very close to average. Highs of around 18 to 21 degrees Celsius. So still whack your sun cream on where you do have it. But as you can see, it is going to be staying largely on the south side. In these areas, we will be looking at relatively high levels of UV. But up towards the northwest, with the more unsettled weather, it will be somewhat lower. So there you have it, Garen. Happy news for you. Too hot for you today. Much cooler as we head through towards this coming weekend. But still some really good weather to make the most of. Okay, many thanks, Alex.